Previously on Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Whoa. Whoa. A horrific roar tears at the fabric of reality. Oh, snap! It's that Final Fantasy X move. What he does to the summons and all that. Is it? Or is it something different? Maybe? Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Okay, this is an awesome dungeon boss right here. Whales of yep. Trust. Thank you. Hey, all right. Now I got that to level 84. I have faith in you now and always. Thank you. I know you do. All right, Graha, what's on your mind, buddy? A trip to the moon. Graha Tia is pondering the technological marvel you have ju just beheld. Okay. My apologies. I was lost in thought. This device is of elegant design. I knew it was. I knew it. Which leads me to think. I was right for right about Fan Daniel. No matter what he claims, he still has an attachment to the tap the trapping of his past. Whether knowing this will make your path forward clearer, I cannot say. But bear it in mind. But let us turn to the task at hand. As Heidelin said, the flow of ether will transport you to Mir Lamentorum. Uh, we must hope this ally of hers can provide you with the necessary assistance to restore this steel before Xenos and Fandango arrive to stop you. It seems we are ever one step behind, but I have faith that you will make up the difference. Know that whatever awaits, our prayers are with you. Now go beyond the sky. Alright, buddy. Let's get it. Uh... Spare a glance our way from behind, will you? <laughs> we shall not waver knowing that you're counting on us. Alright. Here we go. To the moon! Long, long before Dalamud was forged to imprison an Elder Primal. The eldest of them all, savior of the star, was sealed within a moon of his own. Souls sacrificed to grant him life still slumber and dream of the day he and we Whoa, will be made. there's elegant technology on the moon? Here he waits, in this cold, barren place. His cradle and his grave. Silent lamentations and prayers of hope echo soundlessly to a sundered star, adrift and alone. We're finally on the moon, boys and girls. Finally on it. You with me? Heidelin's champion. I'm really liking this song too. It sounds really good. Wow. I wonder what does it say? The Sea of Stars. It is a pretty good, decent sized map too. Oh, there's a little alien. I'm just taking in the surroundings. Sweeper. Okay, hold on. No known thing just yet. Okay. Whoa, what the heck? Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. That was weird. I was not expecting tentacles to come out of that guy. Ancient spirit. I, I, return. I must return. Why? 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 Whoa, okay, dude, you all right? Come on, almost done, get out of here. There we go. Anything else? 
Nothing. Home. I want. I need. Hmm. Interesting. You mustn't touch. In Cerulean calls, find me. In there? Okay. Oh, and he just disappeared. Alright. This is a really cool place. I wonder what's out there. And look at the earth. That that has great detail. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was just talking with several people in Discord. How, like, the graphics can uh, seem very outdated at times. But I gotta say, right after um, Stormblood, it really feels like they really work the graphics so well. Because, like, look at this. This actually looks really good. You can see the detail on the earth over there. And then... Like, the environments, like, look at this. This looks beautiful. I'm just taking it all in, because, like, my god, man. It, they just get so much better each and every time they bring out an expansion. And it shows. The Watcher's Palace. <clears throat> Is Bugenhagen here? I'm just saying. I want to see if my theory still holds true. Hey! It's the final area song in Shadowbringers. But in a different way. No steps echo through this looming spire. Save your own. But you nevertheless sense a presence above. Oh, well, there's somebody else over there. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's take a look. And it just keeps going up. <laughs> okay. Where is this presence? And, oh my gosh, look. I'm sorry, I keep on gloating about how beautiful everything is, but... Look at the detail on the floor. Then look at all the detail everywhere else everywhere else here. <clears throat> like oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Door open. The what? Whoa, that's Zodiac right there. Okay, okay. Hold on. The watcher. What's going on, buddy? Oh, stuff just got real good. Apologies, I've been preoccupied for quite some time, and am I out of practice of conversation? What? Ever since this moon was created by Eidolon, I have served as an integral part. I am the Watcher. I am responsible for the prisoner and the device that holds him fast. There he is, Zodiac. Zodiac himself, a projection of the moon's core. Oh. Though rent asunder by Heidelin, he grows more powerful with every, every rejoining. Seven there have been, seven too many. Every rejoining he gets powerful. And yet, for all his servants' machinations, he remains incomplete. The fallen are beyond salvation. No attempt will be made to free Zodiac, not until he is whole once more. But someone has taken action. The shackles that hold him nearly shattered. Six locks. 
to his goal, great and grand. Garatan swords driven deep, brands to bind Zodiac forevermore. Five were destroyed by his would-be liberator. One of these I have restored. I strive to mend the remaining four, but my efforts are being impended. Souls sacrifice to summon Zodiac. Their manifestation consequence of the warning so seal. They labor in opposition to my work. They must be expelled for the preservation of all. Or pre-salvation. If keeping Zodiac in prison is the right thing to do, I will aid you. I will only resort to expelling them if all else fails. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, first one. What is right and good? Ask a thousand souls and receive a thousand answers. I offer none. Oh gosh, she's so tall. I forgot that. <laughs> I am the watcher and the goaler. I am not the judge. Know this. Heideland commands the force of stasis. And this moon is the product of such power. So long as Zodiac remains imprisoned in this place, no more sacrifices will be made in his name. Nor will those souls rendered up in his name fade into oblivion. Go. Go. Meet with these wandering spirits. Do what you think is right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. A trip to the moon. I think we are getting ready to do our next, our first trial, our first trial. Because at first I thought Anima might end up being the first trial, but Anima's not the first trial. Anima's not the first trial. It was the uh, dungeon boss for the second dungeon. So I'm like, okay, okay. So, but then once you get to the anime fight, oh my gosh, the anima fight was so good. That fight could have easily been a trial, to be honest. It could have easily been a trial. The way they had it all set up, I was like, oh my gosh, for a boss in a dungeon? This was trial level. And it was amazing. You were surprised that Anima wasn't a trial too? Yeah, yeah. I was just saying that too. Like, they made the mechanics feel like a trial. It almost seems like they wanted to do it but they had different plans for the trial which of course we well you already know what it is but what i'm thinking is now since anima is not a trial i think our trials are going to be like this it's going to be zodiac and i think our first trial is zodiac then our second trial is going to be xenos and then our third and final trial is going to be hydaelyn that's my theory so far that's my theory so far all right, Watcher, let's see. Uh, sea of Sorrow, the Watcher would have you deal with the specters haunting the moon. You must confront those lost souls, yes, but you need not expel them by might of arms. A feather touch, a firm word, simple methods may send them away, faint echoes as they are. Where the strength of the sentiment that drives them However, emotions that do not fade even with the passage of centuries. Okay. And make haste, though yet distinct, uh, distant, unwelcome guest draws closer. 
Oh, he's talking about Xenos and Fandango. Okay. I see one right there at the bottom. All right, well, um, yeah, it's so cool looking at Zodiac right there. Even though that's just like a projector of what he actually looks like from what the watcher was telling me. Okay. Man, I love this zone. It's so chill. Like, during my off time when I'm doing, like, my dailies, um, I just try to sit here and listen to the music while I do daily roulettes and just take in the environments while I wait. Alrighty. Let's actually explore this moon. I never really explored it. I just mostly just came here and sat and waited and listened to it. But it's nice to actually explore it. I want to explore it on stream um, pretty much without actually spoiling myself. Having a first reaction. Oh man, this music. Oh, they got one of those, uh, those, uh, dirt-looking guys. Okay, here's our first one. Where, when, how long? And he disappears. Okay. Where the stars beating heart, it's life. Every soul, a drop of blood flowing through its veins. Okay. To live, to learn, to create, to make better. The star flourished, as did we. Do you remember? Do you remember? As the whispers die, the final spirit fades. No shadow of time's long loss remain around a drowning brand. What the heck? It's one interesting dog on the moon. An unusually Lustrous dog is gazing at you with what seems to be fond anticipation. Okay. It appears to be waiting for you to follow. <laughs> Yo, what? Why did I have the dog? <laughs> the dog's face was all up in the uh, camera whenever I came back. Hmm. Yeah, that's one interesting looking dog. It gets a necklace on. But it kind of... The first thought that came to my mind was... Uh, Vanette. Which is like Heidelin, you know, herself. Follow the illustrious dog and try not to fall behind. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I was like, fall behind? And he just takes off. Alright. I mean, it is a pretty good looking dog. Are you going down the hole? You're showing me the hole I was looking at. We are going down the hole, actually. Okay. Where are we going? Whoa, whoa. Okay, wait, wait. I don't want to fall behind. Whoa. Okay. Cool. I'm here. Not what I was expecting. Yeet! Look, he's got hops too. He, shit, I don't know. Whoa, is that a... The heck is that? Okay, I need to focus on this dog real quick. 
Okay, I see her fighting something over here. The heck they fight? The dog silently regards the spirit that lurks near the brand. Okay. The dog say anything else? Perhaps the dog will let you pet it once you have dealt with the lingering spirit. <laughs> uh, you know the, uh, I think it's on Twitter, but the Twitter account where they keep up if you can pet the dog or not. I wonder if they will add this if we can actually pet it. Alright. What's going on? We, the star were filled. Wanted for naught. Mourned for naught. So why? Why did it have to end? Lingering grief. Okay. Alright. Come over here. There we go. Now you're going to move. And one more. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Is that it? Can I talk to you again? There we go. Final days taught us to fear a death forced upon us. The injustice of duties and dreams left unfulfilled. The grief of unexpected partings. Swift as darkness, cold as ash. Such tragedy, yet no catharsis. Such truth, yet no consolate, cons consolation. Hmm. Are they showing us, like, past events or something? As the whispers die, the uh, spirit fades. All is silent and is still around the numbing brand. Alright, Doge. What's next? Uh, the illustrious dog is once again staring at you expectantly. And who are you to deny it? Follow and try not to fall behind. Alright, well, show the way. Yeah, look at that thing. What the heck? Those things are weird. <laughs> Doji. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it kind of almost looks like Doge Cat. The color wise looks almost like Doge Cat. I mean, not Doge Cat. Doge. Doge Dog. Or. Yeah, just Doge. What? Dude, the enemy designs on the moon is like interesting. Oh snap, there's that little thing that everyone was memeing. Yo! <laughs> Wait, where's the fancy one? I wanna see the fancy one. End game. Yo, there it is, the Luna Tinder. Alright, I'm falling behind from the doge. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Whoa, what the heck? He just grew a flower from his head? What are they doing? Interesting. The dog silently regards the shadow that lurks near the brand. Oh, I see it. Are you gonna let me pet it if I do talk to it? The dog continues to focus on the shadow, as if to say, stop petting me and get on with it, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. What? Can you stop petting me? <laughs> it's that extra dialogue that's so good. The music just went ominous. Our perfection came crumbling down. Such overwhelming despair. In that moment we knew the end was nigh. The faintest glimmer of hope remained. We gave our lives that others may live. We gave ourselves to Zodiac. Z 
Zodiac, our Lord and Savior. To forge our world anew. I'm surrounded. What are they trying to do? To live in love again. Become one with the star. Fill earth and heaven with life. Birth paradise where fear is distant memory. Hmm. Pardon me, but would you be so kind as to step aside? Is it the washer? spirit. Ah, that unmistakable color. The soul of Azim. Oh! But not the friend I knew, I think. Nevertheless, you are you. Oh! It's the guy that we ran into at the uh, DMV. <laughs> hmm. So I'm so meant for you to have it. You seem surprised. Why why might I be? We meet again, Hydolis. Hey, yeah, that's right. You're the receptionist at the Brew of Secretariat, correct? No. He's uh yeah. Again? I do not believe I have yet had the pleasure. So he would recognize me as Arbard. That's right. MSL created a shade in my likeliness. And not only me, but all of Omara. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. Never mind. <laughs> How very like him. <laughs> A slave to sentiment, even after an eternity. As you may have guessed, I am different from the shade you met before. No mere approximation, but the original. A soul sacrificed to Zodiac. Hmm. Remember in vivid detail the events leading to our purgatory. The plans and plots for our resurrection, Heidelin's intervention and in Zodiac's, and the star's final fate. And then we drifted in a waking dream, our minds steeped in fog, until you came. I know not what you and your friends intend for Zodiac or the future of the star, nevertheless, in you, I place my trust and faith. In you, I choose to believe, as Emmett Selk did. Believe in yourself, and all will be well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Interesting seeing him again. I was not expecting that. Hmm. More new arrivals. Though, ah, Fandango. That color I know. Oh, you know Fandango? And another I do not. An unfamiliar but fearsome being. Xenos. I have kept you from your duty. By way of apology, I will ensure that the shades hinder you no more. Protect the final brand. 
Will do. We got this. Farewell. I mean, fare you well, my new old friend. Dun, 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 dun. Well, alrighty, let's get to it. There's the doge. The martyr. Something has rise the illustrious dog Hickles. Okay. The doge growls, agitated. We must protect the brand. Come on, boy. Cry havoc and let slip the dog of war. That's you, by the way. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, the first one. The dog nudges you with its nose. You get the feeling it wants you to hop on. Oh. Are you a mount? Are you going to be my new mount? Are you going to let me be? Or are you going to be a mount? If you end up being a mount, that'd be pretty cool. Let's go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> he just starts flying. Alrighty. Let's do this. Give me a good look at the environment, too. And, wow. Zodiac. New location. What's that bubble over there, though? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, he's taking me to the final brand. Okay, that makes sense. What a clipical statement. Are you gonna be my mount? <laughs> Are you gonna be my mount? Mm -mm. I mean, the way they said it made it seem like he was gonna be like a mount or something. Oh, snap. Well, hi there. <sighs> Oh, oh, we're too late. Well, I knew we were going to have to fight Zodiac at some point. In the nick of time, to savor the crowning triumph. Unbound and free at last. Arise, Zodiac! It had no effect. I wonder what he actually looks like. of heart and will by the loss of dearest Elidibus, a creature of pure instinct, wanting for guidance. But powerful, oh so powerful, more so with every passing moment, such potential. Even in this incomplete state, still the savior who delivered a world from certain doom. So, here we stand. What you trying to go real, real quick? I mean, I would fight you, but kind of busy at the moment. You know my intent. Consume the god, then the world. Stoke your fury to a raging inferno and dance among the ashes. Or perhaps you would face me here and now. A lesser but welcome amusement. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll like that. Hmm, as much as I want to. Yes. 
a taste to whet the appetite. Oh, okay. Are we really gonna go? I mean, I feel like there's more pressing moments, but... Sure. Sorry to spoil the moment, but might I ask that you postpone the slaughter until I've said my piece? I promise I will be brief. Okay. Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to die and take everyone with me? I meant it. Oh, snap, even Xenos was surprised. They wouldn't just get rid of him just like that. They wouldn't just get rid of him right there. I feel like it's way too early to get rid of Fan Daniel. Heidelin, take the wheel! <laughs> We are the savior. Oh, he sacrificed himself to be... We are the guardian. The keeper of natural order. Maybe he combined himself with Zodiac. We are the martyr. The bestower of new beginnings. We are... Such lofty aspirations, and what sweet irony that the world's saviors will become the agents of its destruction. It cannot end this way. We must return and be made whole. We are the will of the star, now and forever. For the greater good, for the sake of the world. Wrong, 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 wrong! Lies and delusion! The dead have no power over me. You will be silent. Silence as the grave! <laughs> No more. We beg of you. Oh. The star must endure. Okay. Sorry. Hmm. I want that stone. Believe and walk in faith. Let the light of your soul shine for all to see. Is that Emmett? Not or... quite the outcome you'd imagined, but a fitting one nonetheless. Don't you think so, Hades? Hades? Oh, here we go again. Hey! Oh, wow! Dang, this is like a final boss! Oh, we're actually gonna fight? Yeah! Okay. I knew Zodiac would be like one of our bosses. I had intended to pit my fractured divinity against Xenos. 
but a more tempting option presents itself. Oh yeah, Lord, let's go. The obstacle to my ambition. You will trouble me no longer. Hmm. It really makes me wonder. If I do take out Zodiac right now, what will happen next? All right, well, let's get it. What's the name of this trial? The Dark Inside, okay. This music, though. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, man, look at that. I gotta look at him real quick. Whoa. All right, that's awesome. All right, let's queue up. Unless another twerkable track. <laughs> yeah, you could call it that. All right, let's queue up. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, snap. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get my, all right, here we go. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm ready. The dark inside. The sea of stars. Eternal darkness. Zodiac. Thanks for the good lucks. Establishing connection. All creation shall bend to my will. Alrighty. Let me say hi real quick. There we go. I don't have my keyboard plugged in. All right, well. Uh, this might be a rough, but we'll get through it. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, okay, he already got us at 1 HP. Okay. I gotta pay attention to my surroundings. I see everyone running over there. Okay, that's a tank buster on them. Okay, what does that mean? Trying to read the field as well. You know, let me go ahead and pop a mitigation just in case. Uh, all right, Denzi, thanks for coming by, man. Have yourself a good night. Back up. I could have gone forward, but Okay, it seems manageable so far. Will you live to see the end? Whoa, what is that? Three stacks on one person? Okay, stay stacked is what it means. Alright, alright. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's not too bad. Soon my hold of a zodiac shall be complete. No, oh, yeah. It seems like we're kicking Zodiac's butt right now. Uh oh. That phase two? Whoa. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. That's awesome. Okay, 
Okay, I see arrows. Trying to understand what it could be. Oh. Okay. Rotation. Gotcha. That's easy to understand. Oh. Green marker, don't know what that means. Okay. Alright, 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 I get it, I get it. How I've waited for this day. Oh, go, 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 go. I definitely didn't make it. Mmm. Dang it. It's okay. Alright, there goes another rotation. If they try to res me, I might wait until the rotation is done with first. Yeah, let's wait until the rotation is done. There we go. Alright, now let's get in there. Okay. The great cataclysm faithfully recreated. Everybody's finding this out. Will you live to see the end? Uh oh, there's three sacks over there. I'm gonna put up my shield. I don't know if that did anything, but I hope it did something. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. He does that. Where he puts our HP really low. Okay. I have a feeling another stack coming in. Yep. So that means be over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Well, that's easy. I hear another stack. Where's it at? Okay. Gosh, I know that's got to be a pain for the healers. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh. I have no need for strength. I didn't get it to the like. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, we got another rotation. Easy. But also this guy is kind of helping us out on guiding. Uh, I don't know if I... Yeah, that's way off. Let me just get right over here. I've tried to put my shield up to help save everybody, but... Did not face it the right direction. This is a pretty manageable fight, and I like it. It's really fun, and it doesn't seem too hard.
Man, I feel like this fight's going on a while. Gone it again. Huh. All right. Not doing so well on this one, but we got a L three. Right here. Okay, yeah, we're good. Will you live to see the end? Uh, Yeah, this feels like a final battle. <laughs> like, my goodness. Because this fight's been going on for quite some time. Got the shield on that time. Oh no, I did not make it again. Oh take on every time. Oh. Like everything else is okay. I just keep on getting that punch. Okay. I had to wait till the rotation stop. Oh god, right here? I don't got any HP! Oh god! Okay, we got this. Dude, there's lights everywhere. All I see is lights. We're almost done with him. Just a little more. Will you live to see the end? Oh my gosh, you love doing that move. Right, come move a little closer so we can attack him too. Okay, we're almost done. Oh my gosh, no, not again! How did I survive? How did I survive? Oh my god. Almost done with him, almost done with him. Just two percent. Oh god. Shield. 
I don't know if that's gonna do it enough, but hopefully. Okay, we're good, we're good. We almost got this. Come on. Limit break, anybody? Limit break? There we go. Whew. Got it. Is this the limit of your power? Is this how it ends? Did we actually defeat Zodiac? Dude, that boss design is so awesome. Man, that is one awesome boss design, but that was an awesome fight, too. Oh, gosh. All right. Great job, everyone. Great job, everybody. Wait, I got to give you a player accommodation. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. Wow. That was awesome. I'm going to take a look at this area, too. Like, whoa. This place looks cool. Yeah, that was something else. That was something else. Man. All right, let's move on. That was a that was great. That was great. I loved that entire fight. That felt like a final boss fight, to be honest. And that boss design, dude, it's so awesome. Well done. My preparations are complete, and I stand ready to seal Zodiac once more. Withdraw now from this place. The teleporter will deliver you to safety. What is he doing? In the past, all I wanted was for you to kill Zodiac. Twice but one of many methods to achieve the desired effect. It would have been the same had Xenos died in my place. Hmm? But what better and more satisfying way to ensure success than to take control myself? My sole regret is that you live to tell the tale. Even so, I have fulfilled my heart's desire. What? Hold on, what? Let your murder mark the beginning of the end. The coming of the final. Yay! Hmm, I'm trying to figure out why wait, don't we need Zodiac to Balance out Hydaelyn? quickly strength fades, and blood cools. Old familiar sensations. The heck? So many lives, so many deaths. No different this. I close my eyes and slip into the dreamless slumber. A 
tired song and dance routine. Always I wake, but not this time. <laughs> Is that what he looks Nothing like? Left undone. Inherit my hell. I intone with glee. Yeah, I guess that's what he looks like. The man I was would weep for what I have become. The all consuming contempt. But I've the wisdom of ten millennia to justify my answer to the question. No value in their existence. Not a wit. For all that I looked. None that I did see. A final chance then. For Heidelin and her faithful. In cataclysm, prove me wrong. I sneer. All shall return to nothingness. As was your will, Emperor Sunday. I, the star, and every living being. Consigned to your oblivion. Hmm. Hmm. So, seriously, no Fan Daniel now. What is that? Deep breaths, slow and steady. Yo, what was that? Yo, what was that? You saw it too. Yes, the blue star below, thrown into turmoil. What is all that? Then there was no illusion. All was truth. With the death of Zodiac, the laws of nature over which he preside have begun to unravel. The final days are upon us. What you witnessed was an omen granted by the Echo, a vision of the horrors to come. Okay. Hmm. Time grows short. Yeah, I felt like Zodiac and Heidelin had to be like pretty much what light and darkness is. They're a balance. They have to be both of them have to live in order for us to have some type of order. Unless we have some type of way to take them both out and have some other solution. Just theory crafting at the moment. Okay, what is this? Or who is this? Oh, Xenos. Did you get the power of Zodiac? <laughs> 
And he's still wanting the fight. It's a lot of malice on you. No. I'll find no fulfillment in a contest with you this day. Okay. Slavering beasts gather at your gates, ravenous and eager. Already you turn to them and away from me. I must go forth once more in search of power far beyond the might of Shinryu. Power to make your heart run over with rage. For the eldest of primals was a betrayal of promise. A pathetic creature incapable of inspiring true despair. I... That's what I crave. Pure, unadulterated despair. Hope will win the day. I will not fight you for your amusement. Yeah, hope will win the day. We shall see. Walking by casually. See you later, rival. Hmm. Yo, Vash, how's it going, dude? Okay, that was awesome. And a great fight, too. Uh, yeah, let's talk to the Watcher. I sense his presence on the moon no longer. Oh, he already left. If you need not follow, then I beg you to stay and listen to what I have to tell you. Okay. Of Zodiac and the end of all things. Alright. Rise up through the night. And shadows wake. The Watcher would discuss grave matters with you. Alright. Before we speak at length, I believe a change of surroundings uh, surrounds is in order. I have more than ill tidings to share. You see, I sense others arriving not long ago. What? Though my communions with Heidelin have grown infrequent, I have learned enough from her to know these are your comrades. And as luck would have it, they have already reached my abode. Come, let us join them. Oh, so all my friends already made it. Well, that's good to hear that they made it. Uh, one thing I've neglected to try to look for was ether currents. I need to try to find some of these. But if I remember correctly, somebody already told me that trying to get all the ether currents in this expansion has been very weird. Like, they prevent you from getting some until later. Oh, so you stole a Thancred and Yurianja here. Nobody else? I don't think I see anybody else. Yes, they are indeed the three I sense. Oh, okay, okay. It's just three of them. May we presume this being a native of the moon? Perhaps. There I asked what happened before we arrived. Well, I had to fight Zodiark. Hi. Thank goodness you are unharmed. We did what we could to subdue the tampered before making our way here. Not without casualties, unfortunately. Some few uh, detonated explosives killing themselves and others. 
Uh, the contingent healers had their hands full tending to the injured and enthralled when we took our leave. The least you wonder, Mrs. Cryle hath also been delivered unto their care, serving as a conduit for Hydaelyn's power, has taken its toll, but she will recover in due course. As for Alphano and Alizé, they insisted on remaining in Garlemald while we three rushed to your aid. It appears, however, that matters were here have already come to a conclusion. Yeah, you missed a big fight with ah, freaking Zodiac and Fandango. But what manner of conclusion, if I might ask? And this is the ally whom Hydaelyn bids you seek out. He is not unlike the Shades of Amarant. Not unlike, perhaps, but not the same. I was created by Hydaelyn, together with this place. It has ever been my duty to keep vigil over Zoriark, or rather, it was my duty. Yeah. Then Zodiac is no more. That's correct. And not without consequences. I am afraid for now the delicate weave of the star preserved by his presence will begin to unravel. If you mean to avert the final days, you shall have need of... Whoa. Uh, are you alright? What do we need? My attempts to forestall Zodiac's release have all but exhausted my strength. If you might allow me to rest a short while, I share with you all I can. Okay. Please do. You need not exert yourself on our court, our account. These crystals contain records of your time here, yes? May we pursue, peruse them while we wait? By all means, if you would review them chrono chronicology, Chronicle, uh, chronologically, chronicology, <laughs> chronologically, uh, might I suggest beginning with those on the upper floor? Yeah, pretty much in order. I shall leave that to you, Anthony, while I see what we can glean from the crystals of these lower levels. Oh uh, yeah, you want me to go further? While you just take a little. <laughs> Anthony, you look at everywhere else, we look at the bottom. Okay. Don't you dare, like, die on us or something. I have a feeling that he might end up... I don't know. We'll see. A moment longer, friend. Oh, no worries. I'm gonna leave you alone. I just want to see if you had any extra dialogue. Get anything you stole? Pray review the records on the upper floor. I will see if there is ought to be learned down here. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Are you able to read anything? Zoryark defeated. While he may have been in an incomplete state, that's nevertheless an impressive feat. But even if you had it, his demise was inevitable. Fandango would have seen to it one way or another. That said, he probably would have wielded Zodiac's power to wreak untold destruction before taking his own life, making this the better of two unfavorable outcomes. And it also makes sense why he said he will die alongside with everyone else, because he's going to be killed with Zodiac. Dost thou suppose a host has maintained his salutary vigil since the very beginning, without rest or relief? If so, these records comprise the sum total of his existence. We must needs handle them with care. You might be onto something, Yurianjay. As you gaze into the crystal, ancient knowledge of Zodiac flows through your mind. Uh, daily summary, no ab abnormalities detected. Uh, and the same thing, same thing. 
These appear to be records of a long and lonely visual on the moon, dating back to the beginning of Zodiac's imprisonment. Okay. As you gaze into the crystal, knowledge of the past calamities flows through your mind. The records describe how, with each rejoining, Zodiac's thirst for freedom grew, as did the strain on the brands. Maintaining Zodiac's imprisonment appears to tax the Hydaelyn greatly. Hmm. Interesting. As you gaze into the crystal, knowledge of the past rejoining flows through your mind. The records describe the Watcher's efforts to prepare the event uh, Zodiac broke free from his prison. Uh, the records go on to describe maintenance carried out regularly with the Laparis, though it is not clear who or what they are. Okay. I don't know what that is. The records note the Watcher's amusing when uh, Elidibus spotted on the moon. No, clearly not for the first time. It is clear he and his brethren have a keen interest in freeing Zodiac from his prison, and yet they have made no attempt to destroy the brands. Perhaps they would prefer he remain hidden from the mortal eyes until the final rejoining. Perhaps they realize we would never dare bring him harm, bring harm to Zodiac so long as he remains in prison. Hmm. Okay. Did you learn anything of import? Yeah, I got a few things. Some few details. So it is as we suspected. Maintaining the brands require a great deal of her energy and focus. And this cause has grown higher with every rejoining. That would explain why contact with her has become rather infrequent since the seventh umbral calamity. I too made a rather startling discovery. This heavenly body we know to be the moon was in fact created by Heidelin. Heidelin created the moon? When the Watcher said he was created together with this place, I thought he only meant this facility. Truly, Heidelin's powers are far beyond anything I could have imagined. Hmm. I thank you for affording me this short reprieve. All right, so what do we need to prevent the final days? It is we who should thank you. The records stored here are nothing short of extraordinary. There is much we could learn of Zodiac and his imprisonment. But perhaps you could offer us more focused guidance. Pray, tell us of the calamity that came before and comes now again. Long ago, before the Grey Sundering, there was but a single world, Etherus. One day from within the earth, a terrible cry issued forth, affecting a profound change in all manner of life. We were not exempt. Our creation magic ran rampant, giving shape and form to thoughts of hopelessness and despair. At first, the phenomenon was limited to a single region, but quickly, so very quickly, it spread and engulfed the whole of the star. Were the ancients ever able to deduce its source? They were not. However, the convocation struck upon a method to predict where next the corruption would manifest.
the etheric energies which flow through all of creation in the form of various currents. The currents which course, course through the land and seas. Those which flow through the very air. and those of a celestial nature which encompass both our star and this moon. Celestial currents. I cannot say I am familiar with the concept. No, would I expect you to be. Few scholars of our time knew of their existence. Their invaluable knowledge Help us to better understand the nature of the calamity. Like the terrestrial ones of Earth and air, the celestial currents form a vast network, but the ethereal distribution is not consistent. The convocation soon realized that the inciting incidents occurred in regions where the flow was weakest. Correlation without clear cause, on ultimately, nevertheless, on closer study, a stagnancy of ether was observed in nor nearby currents. Hmm. And so they sought a means to harness the forces of darkness, of activity and growth. Thus was Zodiac conceived. No less a power than a god's could set right the laws of nature and quicken the flow of ether within the star. Precisely. With the advent of Zodiac, our end was averted. Emmett Selk claimed that those who summoned Hydaelyn did so because they saw Zodiac's power as a threat. Is that true? Indeed. There was a fraction opposed to Zodiac's creation, but their aim was never to unmake him. They understood the continued preservation of the natural order was dependent on his very existence. Until we could identify and address the underlying cause of the final days, he would need remain, for his departure would set in motion those apocalyptic forces once more. Heidelin recognized this as well, and so, rather than destroy, she sundered Zodiac herself and the star into lesser reflections, and she might confine him in this place. But now that he's gone, what would she do then? I could have sworn she beseeched me to banish the darkness. Then what she told me in the ethereal sea was false. Yeah, definitely gotta go with the first one. I knew she had some other intentions. Perhaps she did. But what as with all beings, intent is not always accord with spoken word. That is true. Heidelin and Zodiac are both constructs of man, approximations of the perfection limited by our own imperfections. Zodiac was, without question, the more powerful of the two, having been born of the sacrifice of half Ethereus population. Huh. Thus was it necessary for Heidelin to commit herself wholly to his defeat. Still, more effort was needed to confine him. Maintaining the brands taxed her greatly. With what power she dared spare, she cried out to any who might listen, and offered her blessing to those who hindered heeded her call. Though it was likely within her power to do so, I believe she did not wish to speak of the theories in her history. Like Zodiac, Heidelin's purpose is 
is a reflection of her creators. They wish to look to the future and not linger in the prison of the past. The Asians set in motion seven rejoinings before we came to oppose them. How many more worlds would have been lost had we not placed our faith in her? Hmm. How many True. more souls living in the present would have been snuffed out for the sake of those long dead? Well, in light of recent events, I see no reason to doubt your word. And even if Hydalin is not a god in truth, if Minfilia believed that we should trust in her plans, then I choose to do just that. Which brings me to a rather important question. Let's suppose we try but fail to stop this second coming of the final days. Hmm. Should the source fall, what will become of the other worlds? Right. I thought they would all go away if the source did go away itself. The nomenclature is more fitting than you know. Bring ruin to the source, and its reflections will sure its fate. Yeah, that's what I figured. So Reen will be in trouble. And everyone else too. Ah. It is ready. This way, if you would be so kind. What is ready? A beautiful sight, is it not? It's definitely cool looking. Yes, but what is it? Right. Hydaelyn knew better than any to her power was not absolute. Indeed, she has ever struggled to hold Zodiac and his faithful at bay. She feared the worst. And so made preparations in the event of his demise. There will be a contingency. This moon is more than a prison. It's a vessel capable of bearing the people of Ethereus to safe harbor. Huh. So they can save us. You need not go by go far to find its pilots. In fact, I should be happy to take you to them and fulfill my final duty as watcher in the dark. Well, let's go. Plus, I want that ether current if possible.